Welcome to Kid Connection. It's so great to have you here. I am excited about learning together with you. But first, before we do that, let's sing our song, Living Inside Out. That's our favorite song ever, but you have to get up. You can't sit and watch this. You have to get up and do it. So ready? Let's play Living Inside Out. The next song we're going to sing is Worship Only You, because that's what God said for us to do. We must worship only God. So let's get ready and sing Worship Only You. Well, thanks a lot for singing. That was really fun. Our theme is music camp and worship. 
Our verse is, let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Psalms 103.1. Music Camp has been teaching us many, many things about worship, worshiping God. The first one we learned was we live to worship God. We worship only God. We worship God together. And today we're going to learn about we worship God in all we do. I looked up the word worship to find words that describe it. They are devotion, prayer, honor, love, praise, respect, and service. Well, these are all the things that I would think about <clears throat> if I was going to think about what the word worship means, except maybe respect and service. God loves it when we all come together and worship Him in church, but God doesn't just want us to worship Him in church. God wants us to worship Him wherever we are, in school, at home, or when, even when we're at a friend's house. Well, I am often building things at my house. When I do, I use tools. When I built my greenhouse, I used this tool. These are two tools that required um, I was required to use when I uh, built my greenhouse because my greenhouse was made of metal framework. And these little bolts required the nut driver to attach them to the nut. So that my greenhouse frame would go together. <clears throat> then, for the floor, <clears throat> I used uh, cement pavers. They were one foot <clears throat> by one foot cement papers tiles <clears throat> i laid them on the floors so that i could put my plant tables on them the tool i used for that is this right here this is called a level you can see in the small tube right here that there are two lines marked on it and a bubble inside now when the bubble is in between those two lines, like that, then the level is perfectly balanced with the center of gravity. If it's not balanced, you can see the bubble slides back and forth between the lines. I use this tool to tell me if my floor pavers were level. This would help my plant tables to be level. If the floor was tipped too much to one side, then my plants would fall off their tables. The level is a good reminder that we need to have balance in our lives. Remember, we learned about Paul and he sent that letter to the Ephesians to encourage them to live the way God wanted them to live. Well, I want to, I want to read some more about that letter from Ephesians that Paul wrote. You see, in Ephesians chapter 5, <clears throat> verses 15 through 20, this is what Paul wrote. So be very careful how you live. Do not live like those who are not wise, live wisely. I mean that you should use every chance you have to do good, because these are evil times. So do not be foolish with your lives, but learn what the Lord wants you to do. 
Do not be drunk with wine. That will ruin you spiritually. But be filled with the Spirit. Speak to each other with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What were the six things that Paul told the Ephesians to do? Well, live wisely. Do good every chance you have. Don't be foolish. Be filled with the Spirit. And give thanks to God always. When you put God in the center of your life, things like schoolwork, chores, playing with your friend's house, he will help you stay balanced. Let's watch how some kids who worship God by helping others. teachers. I just praise you, Lord, for giving us such wisdom and understanding. Help us to use this. Help us to not be foolish, but to live wisely. And help us always to thank you, God, for taking care of us and giving us your love. In your precious name, amen. <laughs> 